So in this video, we're going to learn how to make a rack and pinion. Uh, we can't, we're going to use the previous gear from the uh, worm and wheel and we're going to make a rack for it. And we're going to use that bearing that we've been using all along for our gears. So if you don't know how to make those, check out the previous videos for the uh, worm and wheel and then the, uh, the gears. So I'm going to create up a new part uh, studio for this. And I call this rack and pinion. So I'm going to place a sketch down. I'm going to place it on my front plane. I'm going to orientate myself and I'm going to grab my center point rectangle tool. I'm going to go to the center point and I'm going to make an 8 inch by 0.5 inch uh, rect rectangle. So from there, I'm going to grab my line tool. And my line tool, I'm going to make that same uh, gear size that we made in the previous video. So I'm just gonna draw the rough shape of it here and close that out. Uh, we're gonna come through and dimension it now. The width of this is of this line right here. Well, I'm guessing I didn't draw that line then. Let's redraw that line. There we go. That line right here is going to be 0.1. Uh, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make my uh, sides equal to each other. And then the height of this, I'm going to make 0 0.055, the same as we did on the previous one. So 0 0.055. So there's that first one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pattern this. So I'm going to come up to my linear pattern. I'm going to select my lines and I'm just going to click left on my mouse. We can see I patterned this three times, but what I really want is 72 times. Uh, and the distance between my pattern is going to be 0.14. So we can see there as we zoom out, we have our rack that's uh, there. Now, I've extended past this because I've changed the size on this compared to my original. But if I extrude this, it's only going to extrude this portion of it. And I'm going to extrude that. Uh, actually, I think I do 0.5 inches is what I have for my extrusion. There we go. So my rack is now completed. So I'm going to come over to my assembly. And what I'm going to do in my assembly is I'm going to insert my uh, rack first of all, and I'm going to do this without anything in here. So I'm going to come up and grab a make connector. And what I want to do is I want to come to my origin point, and I want to set a make connector up on my X axis. So you can see that's done there. I'm going to grab my slider mate. I'm going to choose the uh, center of my side and I'm going to constrain this to my make connector, which I can do over here in this menu. So I'm going to green check mark this. I can close this out. And what I want to check is that I'm sliding in this plane here, which is my X plane, so which I am. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the rest of my parts. Now, again, we created this in our worm and wheel. Uh, what I want to bring in is my uh, wheel portion of this. So we can see here, I'm going to come back and grab my, uh, in my original gear ratios here, I'm going to grab that bearing that we created in those previous videos. And again, if you need to know how to make either of these, please check those out in other videos. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, revolve mate. I'm going to choose the center point of my bearing to the center point of my uh, uh, opening here. Let's angle it slightly. So there we go. The center point of that. And then I'm going to hit my connect. Now, this won't spin. And what we'll do in the next video is we'll place, put these into place and then we'll animate them.